What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the Repair Gang channel. Today's video, we are working on this Cub Cadet here. This walk behind string trimmer. You know you love these string trimmers. I actually, one thing I hate about this one I'm gonna let you know right now is that it has a lawnmower style where you have to pull the handle down and this thing is constantly spinning all the time. Most of the time you can fire them up and then you engage the spinning mechanism. It's a little more safer on these walk behind string trimmers, but this one's constantly spinning. As long as this engine's running, that thing's spinning. One downside to this machine. But I got some weeds too. If you stay tuned to the end, if you care about that, I'm gonna test this thing out, but we're gonna get this thing cleaned up and we're gonna jump into it right now. Honda style engine here. I don't 100% know if it's a Honda. I'm pretty sure it might just be a Honda. I have to check, but um, we're gonna pop right into it. So we're gonna start off by removing the air filter cover and we're just cleaning the carburetor on this and we're just doing it you know what we might throw it in the cleaner depending on how bad it is 10 millimeter nut 10 millimeter nut 10 millimeter bolt and it looks like these have the the bars so i don't need 100 hands to fix this so that's going to actually help me a lot so let me get the 10 millimeters out and that's all we're going to need let me see no this does not have a fuel shut off so i'm going to need fuel clamps Remember, all the tools I use in every one of my videos, there's Amazon links in the description. No extra charge to you, and it does help the channel out. Even if you don't buy the tools, just use the link to buy whatever you want on Amazon. That helps me out, too. Got the Milwaukee Impact with a 10 millimeter here. So we can bust these nuts off. And the one bolt right here. Now I'm praying that, okay, good. So I am right about not needing to use um, like the multiple hands because this engine actually has these two studs here, which I think every engine like this should have these. So when you do, when I undo those, it just doesn't drop down because you've seen a hundred of my videos and a hundred of other people's videos. So here's the key thing. We'll ignore what I'm saying there key thing memorize this memorize what this looks like here this part is for anybody who took this apart and doesn't know how to do this so this is gonna go to the side we're not gonna take that off but when you put it back on you want this part the the, the choke here in between these two prongs like that when you put that back on and you see it has one hole here, so it's not multiple holes because that's the automatic choke system. And remember, this has two gaskets. This is a hard, harder plastic and a lighter one. Green goes outside. I know a lot of people always have problems once they take apart the carburetor not remembering how it goes back on. And because these aren't gonna fall off, I don't have to worry about the back gaskets because we're not gonna take them off. But here's the carburetor. We're gonna get some fuel clamps and we're gonna take this carburetor off. Okay, so I'm gonna clamp it all the way in the back here. No need to clamp it anywhere up here where it's gonna get in my way. And by the way, if you guys are liking this so far, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. You don't have to, but it is 100% free and you can change your mind later. And I've been trying to post a lot more content. I'm going to try to do daily content, whether it's YouTube shorts or long form full repairs like this. I'm going to give you guys all the tips and everything, and I'm just going to show you guys how to do it, you know, the honest way and the fun way. This is just a simple lift up kind of style throttle, and the automatic choke is going to be a pain in my ass here. Okay, so we don't break this off. I'm going to show you guys a different way how to take this off without unscrewing this whole back end over here. You're just going to take your pliers. You're going to open up the choke. You're going to grab the butterfly. And you're going to pull the butterfly out like so. Remember, this part goes back inwards. And now from there, we can just lift this up all the way out and just put it aside and we'll fix that spring later. But now we got the carburetor out, so we can clean it. This way it makes it a lot easier than having to do all that bullshit up there. Now let's see what the gas looks like. 
if we can drop some out. We'll just go ahead and undo it. It looked watery for sure. Watery for sure. Oh, look, that jet is plumb clogged. I doubt you can see in there. But that is plumb clogged. So we will clean that out. And all we need is a little flathead to get in there. We'll go ahead and take out the pilot jet right there. And this carburetor looks brand new. Look at it. Look, look. Normally when we clean these, they're nasty. This one's actually in pretty good shape. Just the jet's clogged. Here's another tip for you. If you don't want to remove this and you're worried about breaking that brass piece, find a spring with real thin wire. You can also buy micro drill bits, which I'll have links in the description for those if you guys are interested. But you could just use a spring here. And this is what I just cut this into the spring off with some dikes just so I can get in here and it can clean out that jet pretty good. And once you spray a little bit of carburetor cleaner in there with this, you see it goes all the way through. I don't know how good you're seeing that. So I do know that jet is cleared out now. And now I can spray some carburetor clean there in there and finish cleaning that up without having to remove that little jet. You can also use this on the pilot jet because it is thin enough to actually pierce through. Guitar string works too if you have that. Okay, now that I got the carburetor cleaned out, I'm just, just judging where I want to put that um, draining spout on. And I'm going to put it right there so it's going to hang right there. Now that we got this cleaned all the way out, we're going to put back on the choke. Now, how we do this is we got to, remember, we got to have this where it's like that and all the way down, but we got to have the spring engaged. So how we do that spring is we twist it a few times, lifting it up, twisting it, lifting it up, twisting it, twisting it to about right there. Now you see, open, closed, open, closed. And the spring goes around this big noggin. So now we can pop this back in. Like so. Now we're going to have to do it on there like that. Well, if you guys got a different way to do it, that's how I do it. So I'm just going to twist this spring around manually now. Drop it on there. Put it in the hole. Make sure it's working how it's supposed to. And it is perfect. Now we take our butterfly again. Remember this piece, the moon piece goes inwards. Open it up. There we go. Just like that, our choke is back on. Throttle back on. Throttle spring back on. Remember, green side out. Fuel line on. What I like to do now is while I'm putting everything back together, I'm gonna unclamp the fuel and I'm gonna watch for leaks. If there's a leak, I messed something up. Okay, now if you guys remember this, this stick on the choke is going to go in between those, just like that. Now from here, we can take our air filter cover, put our hose back on, and put that back on just like so. I like to start this long bolt first because it's not guaranteed the position it's in. And we'll tighten that all the way down. Now we can put these on, start them slow, tighten them down. Start them slow, tighten them down. Get one more, get one more. The air filter looks actually relatively, this thing is relatively clean. The guy just left it sitting for a long time and he had 
fuel stabilizer in there, which is the worst thing you could do on a small engine. Do not use fuel stabilizer. I don't care what anyone says. If you want your engine to last, just drain the fuel pure clean. Okay, by all means, this thing should run. No leaks coming down. No leaks coming down. I'll make sure there's gas in there. No, I'm not. I'm gonna trust it. I'm just gonna pull it and we're gonna start it. Okay, by all means, this thing should just fire right up. It has automatic choke. <laughs> choke didn't disconnect didn't disengage yet that's fine not a big deal we can actually still cut some weeds up so we're gonna go over there and cut some weeds up with this thing and see if it kicks up speed soon by all means it should kick up some speed soon so let's see how it cuts okay we just had some rain so I'm thinking this thing should do pretty good at cutting some of these weeds to level um, let's fire her up and run it around. Fuck yeah. Um, sounds great. Running great now. Um, hell yeah, we fixed it. So if you guys like this video, of course, you know what to do. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. And if you didn't like it, fuck you.